Hello everyone, this is Tuesday the 26th of January and it is our English lesson for today. So we're going to be thinking about a news bulletin and you creating your own news bulletin today. But before we do that, we are going to have a little bit of a look at some of our grammar. Now we're thinking a bit about the passive voice um, and the active voice because in newspaper reports, you'll find that they often use the passive voice because sometimes they don't know who's done something or they do, but it's often written using some examples of the passive voice. So that's what we're going to be having a look at for the next week. OK, so if we're looking at the active voice, um, that is telling us what a person or thing does. So it goes in this order. We've got our subject, the person that is doing the thing. We've got our verb, what they are doing and our object, what they are doing it to. So, for example, we've got Anna painted the house. So you can see quite clearly there who is the subject of the sentence, Anna, the verb is the painted and the house is the object. Now, if we were to turn that into the passive voice, the passive voice is telling us what is done to something or someone. So our house is going to come to the front of our sentence now because that is the thing that is having something done to it. So, for example, uh, the house was painted by Anna. OK, so it's put it in that passive voice. It's telling us that the house is being painted by Anna, was painted by Anna. OK, so it's what is done to um, the someone or something, what is done to the object. OK, so I'd like you to have a go at writing two of your own simple active sentences that you could then turn into the passive voice. So it could just be as simple as um, the boy kicked the ball and then the passive voice would be the ball was kicked by the boy. OK, so pause the video now, give yourself two minutes and have a go at writing two of those sentences, please. Thank you. OK. So we've now got some sentences here that we are going to sort into active or passive. So you could draw a table in your book and put active at the top and passive um, on the other side and sort them into those columns. Or you could just put an A or a P next to your sentences to indicate whether you think they are active or passive. So I'm going to read them all out for you first. So we've got the plane is boarded by the family. We've then got the magician pulled a rabbit from the hat. Isaac threw a ball at the window. Helen practised her recorder every day. The flowers were grown by my nan. And the damage was caused by the storm. OK, pause the video now. Give yourself maybe three to four minutes and decide whether you think each of these sentences is written in the active voice or is it written in the passive voice? Okay, let's have a look at some of those answers then. So all of our active sentences are here. So we've got the magician pulled a rabbit from the hat. We've got subject, verb, object there. Isaac threw a ball at the window. Helen practised her recorder every day. And our passive examples were the plane is boarded by the family. The damage was caused by the storm. If it was the other way around, if that was active, it would be the storm caused the damage. But we've got the damage at the front was caused by the storm and the flowers were grown by my nan. So well done if you got those correct. If you don't, if you didn't, sorry, Please don't worry, we will go over this again lots, OK? So today we are going to be thinking about creating a short news bulletin, OK? Um, and we're going to be looking at the Battle of Troy. Now, this is a famous Greek battle that we will be writing our newspaper reports on next week. So first of all, we need to know what actually took place at this battle. 
um, in order to be able to write a newspaper article about it. OK, um, so what you're going to need to do now is make sure you've got your pencil um, and your piece of paper. And you are going to take some notes as we go. So I'm going to read the story out and you can feel free to pause the video at any time so that you can take some notes down about the main points of the story. OK, off we go. This story takes place in the ancient city of Troy across the sea from Sparta. At one time, Troy and other Greek city states were friends. But during the Trojan War, the Greeks and the Trojans became enemies. Troy was protected by a towering wall which stretched all the way around the city. The wall gave the Trojans the advantage of height and protection. And when anyone tried to attack, arrows would rain down on their enemies. The Greeks had been trying to get over the wall for many years, but every attempt was thwarted by the Trojans. They've been trying and trying to invade, but the defences at Troy are just too good. They've got this big high wall. They've got all their archers at the top. OK. One day, Odysseus, a Greek general, had an excellent idea. It was a known fact that gifts were left when armies surrendered. Using this information, Odysseus planned to leave a very attractive gift for the Trojans, making them believe that the Greeks had admitted defeat and they'd just sailed home, that they'd given up. The Greeks built an enormous, beautiful wooden horse, but the body was hollow with enough space to fit 30 men inside. There they are hiding in this, um, this Trojan, this horse that they are pretending um, is a gift and they're pretending they surrendered. Let's see what happens next. The people of Troy were fascinated by the wooden horse standing outside their city wall. As they saw the Greek army sail away, they decided to drag the gift into their city as a symbol of their victory. That night, the Greek ships turned around and sailed back towards Troy. Whilst the people of Troy were asleep, the soldiers hiding inside the horse climbed out and signalled to the Greek ships that they had entered the city. The gates were opened and the Trojans were caught off guard. Troy was destroyed and the Trojan War was over. OK, I hope you got some notes from that story. Um, if not, I've just done a little brief summary page here for you, um, because these are the things we're going to need for our news bulletin, the who, what, where and when. So the who, we've got the Trojans inside, obviously, their walls in Troy. And then we've got the Greeks who are fighting against them. Um, it happened at Troy, which they said was across the sea from Sparta. Um, and the Greeks were, had been trying and trying to invade Troy. This war had been going on for years, um, but the Trojans really defended it well. So Odysseus, the war general, had this idea. He was going to send this wooden horse as a gift. So at night time, the horse was taken into Troy. The soldiers came out, they signalled back to the boats and eventually they defeated the Trojans. So your task is to create a short news bulletin about the Battle of Troy, OK? You're going to need to include the who, what, where and when in your introduction. You're going to need some interviews from some eyewitnesses. Oh, I've got four eyewitnesses. That needs to be from, from eyewitnesses. Um, and you need to have sort of a what will happen next. OK, so what's going to happen next after the Battle of Troy? Now they are, they have been defeated. And once you've written the script for your bulletin, you could film it if you'd like. So here is an example starter of a script that you might like to use as a guideline for your own script. OK, so you will need to add to this. You will need to change this to suit what you want to correlate with your notes. OK, 
So I've got the name of the reporter in the corner. So I've got Ron is my character in the studio. And then I've got Tina, who's going to be my um, my reporter on the ground. So she's in Troy. She's the one there. She's the one interviewing people and she's going to interview Odysseus. Now, you could have your reporter interviewing uh, one of the Greek soldiers hiding inside the horse. You could have them interviewing a Trojan who is trying to defend the city. Or you could just have them, you know, a citizen of Troy who saw what was going on and they could be saying how shocked they were and that sort of thing. So I've got hello and welcome to St Mary's News. Today's top stories are is Zeus mad with the Spartans and our leading story, the topple of Troy. Let's head over to our reporter, Tina Roy, for the latest at the scene. And then Tina says, thank you, Ron. It has certainly been an interesting day here in Troy. Last night at 10 p.m. So I've just started you off there and you can fill in in that gap a brief summary of what actually happened. OK, and then she comes to her interview part. We have the Greek general Odysseus here with us to tell us some more. Tell me. How exactly did your plan come into being? And then we've got Odysseus speaking. Well, we had been fighting this war for so long that I thought to myself, there must be a way to get inside the walls of Troy. And that's when it hit me. And then you could detail about his plan and his idea. And your reporter might ask him a few more questions or you might go to another eyewitness. It's completely up to you, okay? So pause the video now, use this as your example add to it, change who you want to interview. It's completely up to you. And if you want to, you can film it afterwards and please do send those clips to us. We'd love to see them. So good luck, everyone. Good luck, good luck, everyone. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing these later.